the debt being built up in the UK over this year and next year is estimated to be £348 billion. Pounds. The estimate of that is bigger than all the debt we've ever built up in the past. That is going to affect everybody's thinking. We are going to look at how the economy is going to recover. What we can afford to spend, and we as a sector obviously are big recipients. But I do want to make sure we point out the value of, particularly today as we do at the Cyril's event, the Cyril's part of the economy. And that's why we've put out, and there's a number of these at the doorways as well and on our NFU stand, um, some of the key figures that identify what agriculture does. You know, just on a wide scale, you know, the food sector is the biggest manufacturing sector in our economy. The cereal production is estimated to be two and a half billion pounds. If you add that to the processing from that product, it's between 5.6 and 6 billion pounds. Last year, and we know some of my grey hair is down to the challenges we had in gathering last year's cereal crop, it was up 30%. We had a, a wheat harvest of 17.2 17 million tonnes. We're an industry that's doubled its production per hectare from 4 tonne a hectare in 1960 to 8.3 tonnes a hectare now. This is an industry that's striving to keep moving forward. We see a phenomenal challenge that we need to meet as an agricultural community. That's on a global scale, of course. But when I look at it, when you look around the science that is delivered here today at Cereals, we want to be and should be at the forefront of meeting that global challenge. The one that is most topical and the decision we're awaiting now, and, and I'm sure um, the new minister's got a, a big briefing note on the set-aside challenge, is how we find a non-regulatory, non-burdensome solution to addressing the losses of biodiversity. Helping us look at our farms, look at our planning, look at our rotations in a way that can help build biodiversity is a fantastic, I think, initiative. We know that consumers, we know that rural habitats are concerned by the use of pesticides. We see it from press coverage, we see people's um, discussions and media comments. We know the Georgina Downs case against DEFRA is soon going to be decided. We're awaiting that decision in the next two to three weeks. We know on the back of the Royal Commission in 2005 saying we should put buffer strips in place and we should have prior notification that actually when the Secretary of State and DEFRA decided not to impose those constraints, Georgina Downs took DEFRA to court in 2008 and won. The judge, in his summing up, said actually we protect beekeepers and watercourses better than we do bystanders. That is the backdrop to the current legal case we face. We want people's views on how we might address that challenge. We're not saying to DEFRA, we don't take responsibility for the safe use of pesticides. We say we want to look at the options that are available to us. But this isn't a sector that wants to look backwards. It's actually up for the challenge of looking forwards. What we want is the regulatory framework that helps us deliver it. And when I use examples about the bystanders, we're also a sector that's prepared to play our part in finding solutions as well. Thank you very much indeed.